Well, it's Friday, and what's really cool about a day like today is, one, it's either the end of your week and the start of the freaking weekend, or maybe it's the beginning of your work week because you work weekends. I have no idea. But what I do know is that we have a fresh rumor for you guys pertaining to a Nintendo Direct happening in April. Now, what we have to remember is this isn't the first time we've heard about a Nintendo Direct happening in April. In fact, we heard about it all the way back in February from a guy named Brazil. Now, this Brazil user, uh, I shouldn't say that's his name, actually. It's not his name. It's his username over on Famiboards, but he goes by that username over there. He's the same journalist that informed all of us about the Switch to delay to 2025. Now, you want to say that that makes him more credible? I don't know. He's had a lot of respect among the leaker community. Apparently, he used to be someone who would give dates for directs and all of that. He just hated getting wrapped up in all of the fanfare around it and all the debates and people wondering, oh, when's it going to happen? Blah, blah, blah. And he told himself that he would never do it again. And then he did it again because he got kind of excited himself. And maybe it just has to do with the fact the Switch 2 was delayed, but then he heard something about when the Switch 2 might be revealed. And that's fine. Okay, that's all in the past. That's the context of this conversation. He told us in the past, in fact, why am I even saying this? Let's just show you what he said. So you see here all the way back on February 19th, he went out there and said, here's what I've heard post Friday. And this was after general direct stuff. Direct in April, general or mini, he doesn't know. An indie world before that, probably March. That's not like speculation, by the way. Indie world before that is just what he heard. And then a June switch to reveal. Everything in flux always, but I'm feeling good. So, eh. So that is what he said all the way back then. And he stayed pretty quiet since then. And now we're getting towards the end of March, of course. And people are like, well, hey, we didn't get that indie world yet. So, uh, yeah, he might not be true. Well, notably, hey, that indie world thing was just speculation about it being this month. He only heard that it would be before a direct. And we've had indie worlds a week before a direct. But I'm not here to defend his reputation because, look, what's going to play out is going to play out. He provided a new update yesterday, though, that we really need to go over because uh, I just find this to be fascinating. And it has directly to do with a Nintendo Direct next month. So here's what he put out there. He said, hey, y'all, stepping in since I've seen some DMs and since I was the one to volunteer all of those dates over a month ago, even though I told myself I was out of the event date thing a couple of years back. I was feeling good that week, so shoot me. Here's the post from back then, which is the one we already showed you guys. And then he said, I haven't talked to the IW source, whoever inside something source, in a few weeks. Reached out today and hasn't gotten a response yet. But as far as I'm aware, that presentation could still happen in the time frame I was given. The April Direct is still a go as of last week. So presentation-wise, his, his time frame... I, I'm assuming he's talking about the Switch 2 presentation because the Indie World is an Indie World, not a presentation. I don't know. Anyways, but please remember, the last Direct was delayed by a week, the week of. And be kind to Pioro, Necro, Nate, and whoever else decides to volunteer any further info. From my end, at least, things only really start materializing in a solid way a week before the planned date. Until then, it's always up in the air. Which is why I promise I won't talk about event dates anymore after these go down. Now again, the three event dates are an Indie World before a Nintendo Direct that will happen in April, that's what he is saying, and yes, a Switch 2 reveal of some type, even if it's just a few words, whatever. Switch 2 actually being confirmed and revealed by Nintendo in June. Now all of this is fascinating, and the interesting part is obviously, if we get an Indie World in the next couple of weeks, that's going to really bode well for him, especially if it's before a Nintendo Direct. So by the end of April, if we get the Indie World and the Nintendo Direct, it's really going to make it seem solid unless he provides an update. Otherwise, that Switch 2 will be revealed in June. And that's also really exciting. But again, as he says, these things are always in flux. And just because he might be right on the Indie World and the Direct doesn't mean that he's going to be right on the Switch 2 thing because that was so far out from when he said it in February. Nintendo could obviously move things around, but he seems to be a fairly credible person. I've never had any personal conversations with him. And maybe someday I'll reach out to him just to get clarification on some things he says. But he's pretty clear here that about what he knows. Hey, as far as he's aware, everything's happening the way that he presented it a month ago. And his recent sources, as of last week, 
are still telling them there's going to be a Nintendo Direct happening next month. Now, that's exciting for all of us because, look, I know we have a pretty packed slate, right, in terms of the next few months. We have three games, right? We have Endless Ocean Luminous. We are coming at the beginning of May. At the end of May, we have, well... Maybe the most anticipated game so far, The Thousand Year Door. And then, hey, at the end of June, the 27th to be exact, we literally have Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. But again, two of those games are remasters slash remakes, and one of them is actually brand new, but not a super high demand and game because, hey, the originals were on Wii and they didn't sell crazy numbers there. So to expect crazy numbers now might be a bit of a... I don't know, an overstatement. So I do think that Nintendo doesn't necessarily have that big hype game on the schedule. And maybe that's why they need to have a direct. It's time for Nintendo to announce those games. What those games could be, obviously there's all the speculation around Zelda remasters and you know whether F-Zero GX might be coming, especially with all the F-Zero news we've had lately, or if there's just going to be something else, you know, maybe a Metroid Prime 4 or I don't know. Maybe they announced a new Pokemon game here for this year, which they didn't do at the Pokemon event, but they've been showing they're willing to do Pokemon announcements in directs as of last year. So maybe that's why they figure we'll announce Legends there and maybe a Pokemon game for this year here. That's entirely possible. There could also be just an, any numerous of games. We could get another Mario Party, although I think they might wait for that for the next system at this point. Uh, but we could get anything. A new Kirby game, perhaps. There, there's a lot of stuff. Fire Emblem, that's one that's been floating out there for a bit. There is a lot of possibilities here. Obviously, we're all just guessing. And pretty much all of our Nintendo Direct guesses from all the way back at the beginning of February would probably still be just as relevant now in April since we never got a general Direct. We only had the partner showcase. So all of that being said, I just want to say thank you so much for being here. You guys are awesome, amazing, and epic. Right now when you're watching this video, I'm probably already at Micro Center picking out parts for a new computer that we're going to be live stream building tonight. I really hope you guys tune into that live stream. I'm super excited about it. We're going to be kind of using the new set we're going to use on Monday, although that set's not complete. It's fine. We have a top-down camera angle, and it's just going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you guys decide to tune in. If not, that's all right. Hope you enjoyed this news. Uh, we're on our road to 150,000 subscribers. You've made it this far in the video and you're not subscribed. What's wrong with you? Hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date on all the latest Nintendo Switch 2, Nintendo news, Switch news, Zelda, Mario, Pokemon, Metroid, whatever the heck is coming our way. Thank you guys for being here and I'll catch you in the next video.